Okay, so I am back. Hopefully you saw the video prior to this one. I am in beautiful birds and tree top, tree top treasures. And I am still working on this one. All right, so we're just going to pick up right where we left off and um, finish this little one up today. These hummingbirds have been so cute. And the more I step away and then come back and look, I am fairly happy with what's going on here. I am going to take my white and just lighten this up just a bit. Just the bottom ones, I think. And that's the thing with coloring. You can keep just messing with your coloring as much as you want. It's not finished till you say it's finished, so play with it. Okay, oops, remember there's a bit of red on there, so I better wipe that pencil off so I don't drag that red into this part. I am going to go ahead and do this in white. Then I'm gonna come back in with, I know, I went ahead and did all that in the green. Remember I said I was opting to just do it my way? But now I'm going to take Artichoke. These are still Prismacolors. Um, number 1098. And then I'm going to use Sandbar Brown 1094. And these are the colors I'm choosing for the throat area. Okay? So this is Artichoke first, and I'm going to come in, and it's kind of messy looking, and I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit to the eye area too. So what I'm going to do is come in here and just add a little. So you may want to watch first, because of course I've not practiced this, and I'm going to fade it out. There's not a lot, just a little. Okay, and then I'm going to come in with the other color too in a minute. And then same thing here. I'm going to fade into that white. Just kind of keep it a little messy. Remember, this is where they go up to the plants and get the nectar and stuff, so it's not the cleanest area anyway. There we go. That's all I'm going to do to that. Then I'm going to come in with that um, Sandbar Brown, which is the 1094. And I'm going to come and do the deepest areas. Just to help push it some to the back and give us a little bit of depth. Make those green feathers look like they're actually over the top. And then I'm going to come here and do a little bit. Okay. There we go. Like I said, I'm just kind of winging it. Winging, get it? Yeah, anyway. Would say keep my day job, but don't have one of those either. No, not a comedian. Okay. Um, the beak. I was going to bring a gray in and did not. Let's see, my pencils are running here. So let me just grab a gray. And I feel like most any couple of grays will do. So I am pulling. Ooh, I got French gray this time. 30% and 50%. So the 30% is coming up on top and French grays have a little bit of brown to them and I'm okay with that and then the other one is going right under it whoops and I got on my paper I will need to erase that later and then I think I'm actually gonna take white and go across this top again There we go. I like that better. Okay. Next thing, we're going to move to the browns that are these side wings. 
And remember, we're going to make these brown also to kind of mock these right here on the sides. Okay, so the browns I have pulled are 1019. Well, that's what I wrote on my paper. Let's see if I used it over here. Hang on, I'm still looking. So it's not 1019. So I wrote something down wrong. My darkest shade is 949. That's not right either. Okay, 947 is the darkest. Okay, dark umber. So that's darkest. Then I have written down 946, which is this one. This is dark brown. And then I wrote down, but not sure why, 1019. So, don't know. Let's see. This is Tuscan Red, so I know that's not it. Okay, so we're just going to go with these two colors then. This is 1019 Rosy Beige. So I did write it down. So this is my lightest. Now this is actually just right here. That's it. So just right here on these inner areas that's closest to the bird's body. And see how that's pretty close. And then that's really the only place I'm going to use this. All right, lay that to the side, but don't lose it in case I need it. Then I'm going to go over to my 946, which was my middle shade. This is dark brown. And I'm going to come and get right next to that and then blend into it ever so slightly. And see, we're emulating or copying that right there. All right, and then I'm gonna do the outer edge, which is on top for each one of these. Turn my pencil around so the lead's going the direction I want. There we go. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Okay, so we're going to come over here, get that blended. This is the lighter of my two browns. So that space in between that I'm leaving white will be for the darker shade to come in. And that's what's going to make this each one of these little feathers look like they're tucked underneath. Just like we tucked all these underneath. We're going to tuck these under by using a darker shade. Anytime you're coloring and you want something to look tucked behind something else, just use a darker shade where the tuck would be. Now, each one of these are individual, so each one of these are going to be colored just a little bit different. I'm going to bring that in and then go underneath bring it in underneath and that's what's going to separate each one 
is that little underneath bit. Oh, don't go away. Oh. <laughs> and then here, what I'm going to do is the outer edge just like what we did here and leave right next to that wing for the darker shade. The same thing on the other side. I am going to skip the other side now just because I do not want to run out of time again. So now I've moved on to the 947, my dark umber. See, so bringing that right beside it and then just blending it out just a bit. Don't blend it out too far because you don't want it to thoroughly run into the next one. You don't want it to be dark all the way across. Where I'm sitting, this is blending really well. I'm not sure how much of it you can see, but it's um, coming along nicely. And see, I'm doing that so that it pops that tail up to the front a bit makes it look like these are tucked underneath and behind that tail. Just play with it. You can do it. If you're on coloring books, keep it clean. Please do share these pictures. I'd love to see what you've done with yours. It's a Facebook group. Yes, coloring. There we go. So I'll do the same thing on the other side, but I want to get to this because this is going to take just a little bit of time. Not too much, but just a smidge. So I am going to pull 924, which is crimson red, and 925 which is Crimson Lake. And then I believe I'm also going to be pulling, you know what, I don't think I want those that dark, or do I? Yeah, I probably do. And then I'll pull, uh, let's see, for the darkest, I'm gonna pull my 937 which is Tuscan Red. So you can see the lightest is right through here on this side because we're not looking straight on where this is drawn more straight on. So what I'm going to do is I am using the Crimson Red, the 924, and I am going to do all this center area. Now the white lines right here, you could come back in later if you wanted to do those with a Posca pen, P-O-S-C-A, and um, just put those lines in, or just a few little dots or something. Now this is really, not a hard area because I am encompassing all these lines together into one area. I'm still not happy happy with my pinks, those right there. They're still just not like a hot pink like what I wanted to do. So we'll see how we do time-wise. I might do a little bit of playing with those yet. Okay, the next one is 925 Crimson Lake. And I'm just coming up under this, blending right into that next color. Oh. <laughs> Is it 
it's saying I'm not fast enough. I know it's a setting I have, and I could go in and change those settings so that my camera or the photo would stay on longer. I'm just not going to do that because then I'd have to remember to set it back when I'm finished. It's like my little brain holds so much art information. I don't want to add any extra stuff to have to remember that I don't have to. Does that mean I'm lazy? Huh, maybe. You see, there's not a big difference between these two colors, so they're really, really easy to blend. I'm not going to go all the way up in those Vs because I know I've got that other red to use yet. And that's where we're going to see the different color come in, the biggest color change. Get those done. Some blending in there. Okay, so I'm going to the darkest which is my Tuscan Red. It is 937 color number. So now I'm going to get up in here and that's what's going to pop these greens up to where they look like they're on top of this area. Okay, just take your time Get around all the little divots, all the little ins and outs. Get all your little V's. Blend it out just a little. Make your pencils work for you. Yeah, that looks like it's kind of rounded in there now. That's another thing about putting the dark on the outside is it gives you that little extra roll. The illusion that it's rounded. Even though we're on flat paper. Okay. Bringing that in just a little bit more. I just want it more red. So I'm using this color to accomplish that. And then I want that in the very middle brighter. So I'm going to try something. Don't do this yet. <laughs> I am going to look at two of the pinks we used before. And I'm going to look at the, I think the process red. I'm going to try it just a little. Yeah, I think I like that. This is that Process Red, number 994. And it's lighter than my two reds I just used, so that's why it's okay to use it to blend with. You can always go lighter. It's best not to go darker. There are times that you do, and I have. And we've talked about that on videos when I've done it. But for the most part, I generally will go lighter. Okay, so I'm, I'm more happy with that. So, um, the brown still. With the, I, I feel like we're finished with that part. Um, how are we time-wise? 19 minutes, good. I want to address that pink because I am still not happy with that. So, Prisma swatches and see if we don't have just a hot pink in here. And I'm not sure that there is one. See, that's process red. That's what we were using. Maybe what they call hot pink. Ooh, I wonder how that would look over the over the top, that lavender. I wonder if that mixed with the pink would do it. Well, you know me, I am going to 
my pencils are over here beside me today, so I am going to see if I have lavender right here or if it's in the other room. Oh, lavender may be in the other room. Nope, here it is. Good, good, good. So let's take this lavender and just add some. Yeah, still not doing what I want. Okay, so this is this is how we play with it to tell. What about the hot pink? You know, I'm just not sure. I don't see the pink I really, really want. I'm taking an eraser to it a little bit. Just lifting some of that off now that the paper is good and stained. Get a corner here that's looking better. I almost like it better with some of that just removed. Let me try this. This is hot pink. It is number 993. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I would probably have to go to another brand of pencil to get something that's really going to make that pop. Because lavender looks like it should, but it's still just not what I'm after. You would think processed red would do it, but it just did not. So, hmm, I'm open to ideas. So down in the comments, what could I go over that with? Um, Prismacolor, let me know, because I'm not opposed to erasing it and doing something else. I am going to come in here and put some of that color right back in. There we go. All right, so let's look at those browns. We had 946 was my lightest and 947 was my darkest. So 946, we're going to go ahead and do the outer edge. Yeah, so as far as that pink on the inside, um, read the comments, see if somebody suggests something. I feel like Fern will probably have an idea. She um, plays a lot with mixing colors and doing things. Yeah, I'll have to erase that later. So we'll see. Um, and then on this one, remember it went under each one. And then along the edge and by going under it's separating each one of these if you missed part one of this video just go up to the top where it says channel go to my channel and uh, pull up part one of the red-tailed comet hummingbird Okay, so there's that. And then with the darker shade, that number 947. I'm glad y'all have stopped by to keep me company today on the web. Okay, and then we did beside each one of these, right next to that line, so that they look like they're tucked up underneath each other. You want it to be tucked, you got to go a little bit darker. I have a feeling I just used the wrong shade. I bet I was supposed to use the lighter shade. Oh well. 
you know, again, real time, real life. It's what we do. Then I'm going to take that 1019 that I did first, and I'm just going to come in and blend all these. Just hit the edge just a little. Yeah, that's the only problem with doing um, one part and then another part. You know, I did one side and then jumped to the other side, is they don't always turn out just alike because sometimes you do end up using the wrong colors. And then, you know, from erasing and starting over, what you're going to do? So I'm coming back in and adding a little bit to this one. This side just doesn't look like it's as dark as this side. So ever so slightly. You can see I'm not up here on my pencil. I'm back here. And if I wanted even lighter touch, I'd go back even further. But I'm not wanting a real heavy touch on this. Just enough to get a little bit of that color in there. The eye. Oh my goodness, yeah. So the eyes on birds are a lot of times just black. And in this one, you know, it's, it's no different. It is, whoops. Wrong bird. Okay. But you can even see in this bird, they're, they're black. So that's what I'm going to do. And they're not shaped with a pupil like ours are, which I did that one in a pupil. The bird next to it. So, hey. And um, just leave a little shine spot. So make you a circle. And then go around it. If for some reason you accidentally get the whole thing, white dot of paint, white gel pen, Posca pen, whatever. There we go. So I'm pretty well calling that it. I think that's pretty good. So that's the other one that I just fixed. So I had drawn a little eyeball. In fact, on this one, I drew a little eyeball, so I am going to take that color. I don't think I did this one on video. Wait, that one? Yeah, this one, no, I, I forget. One of them I did not do on video. I don't know. Maybe it was this one. So anyway, that's where we're at on the birds. Thank you for joining me. And I will be back in a few days, and we will tackle the next bird. All right. Talk to you later. Bye.